So hi and welcome here to a quick tutorial on how to split audio from your voice, your game voice and people in your team, for instance, TeamSpeak or Skype. Today I'm going to be using OBS, but you can also use XSplit or any other recording software that has the ability to have multiple audio tracks. I'm purely going to show you here where you're actually recording. I'm going to show you after the record. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comments. But Bob, please show me the additional audio record track options. So. What you're going to need is you're going to need obviously recording software. You're going to need VB audio cable. You can use virtual audio cable. I had some problems with it with a little bit of a click in here and then the audio. So I flicked to VB audio. Both will work. And um, this one does require a slight donation for additional audio cables. So in your playback, this is what we're going to download. I need three audio tracks and we're going to use two of them. Um, this is the standard one that comes for free. And these two here, you have to donate additionally a euro or whatever you want. I'll put the links in the description. Um, I'm going to use Banana. Voice meter is the same. Banana just gives you a few little more options. Uh, my personal preference. So if you download that, I've already got it. You can see how it's showing you the different audio tracks. So download that. Options down the bottom here. And then you're also going to need the VB cables. It's just I'll put the links in the description. And you download these from here. Download the standard one, which you can see. And also these ones here, which are the additional ones. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed those, you'll need to reboot. So we're going to use Skype in this options here. So if you go to Skype, I'll show you the TeamSpeak as well, and go to options, to audio options. You've got the mic, which I'm using here, and then you've got your speakers. So I've set mine already to Skype audio. It'll probably be on something like, so it'll be on like audio headphones. So pick Skype audio or VB audio cable, which will be called by default. If you right click on properties, you can rename it. Select OK. So going to TeamSpeak, you need to do the same. It's under settings, options, playback. Yeah, and change team voices. Okay. Once you've done that, what you're going to need to do is load voice meter up. And what you need to do here is select the hardware input. And we're going to pick the first hardware input, which is going to be audio cable virtual one, I guess we're going to call it, or default, which is this one. And the other audio input, we're going to pick um, number two, which is the B one. Okay. Which is here. You need to make sure your audio is set as default. So if it's on real tech, which mine normally is, um, like so. So my speakers, basically, you need to make sure you pick, change it to this B one here, which is by right clicking, set as default, not communication, just default. You'll get a green tick next to it. And this puts all your game audio onto this input device. So now you've got your two input devices. You now need to, to hear in your one set of headphones or out of your one speakers. This is so you hear it's one channel, not it's two. Um, for yourself, OBS or XSplit only needs to hear it in two different channels. So you can control the independent audios. Um, you can go to uh, A1, which is output one basically, and pick your speakers. If it's slightly different, normally the real tech, there's a few different real tech ones. Um, pick your one that is appropriate to your setup. Once that's running, then go back to your OBS or XSplit software, go into settings, go to the audio, where this is for OBS, remember. Pick your default audio device. So this is now going to be not um, real tech because this will bring both my audio channels in. So it'll bring Skype and TeamSpeak and also my game volume into one channel. We're going to split this now into VB Audio 2. Okay, so it matches this one. So on the second audio, we need to make sure this is set to Skype audio. It's a bit confusing. It gets confusing because of the way you're doing the channel. So it's probably worth watching it a few times, this video, just to get your head around it. Feel free to put in the comments if you have any issues. Uh, and your mic will be set as standard now because that's fine. No changes there. Okay, that basically. And now you should have these three outputs here. You can control each one independently for the audio from here within OBS, this is for instance. Or you can actually control them here like this and the audio channel mix will go up and down. You also need to make sure that the A1 here is ticked. Just make sure that both these channels are pushed out to this audio one here. If you turn that one off, you then get virtual audio cable. So basically Skype through that audio channel into your ears. It allows you to meet your friends if you don't want to hear them. So I hope this has been useful. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a bit more of an in-depth discussion. I can show you how to do it later on in a record if you wanted to split the audio, for instance, in Premiere or Sony Vegas so that you can alter the audio tracks higher and lower at uh, 
pre-recording. Um, this only allows you to do it during the game while you're actually recording, um, or if you're just doing it generally because you want to lower your friends' voices on the fly. So I hope this has been useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all again. Cheers. Bye-bye.